Now, let's take a call from uh, John in Yorkshire on the welfare reform issue. John, welcome to the show. Hi there. Hi. I'll try and hold this, uh, try and hold it together because I get very emotional about this. I'm totally blind. When I say totally blind, I've got no sense of light to dark. I've got kidney failure. I've got all the problems caused by diabetes, shock or joints and bad circulation, which means I struggle walking, and neuropathy, which means I have lack of feeling in my hands. I've been on incapacity benefit 20 years. I was made redundant from a fantastic job. Recently divorced, so all my incapacity benefit that I get now goes on paying for carers to, to look after me. I got a redundancy, uh, I, I got a payout, a very good payout because I was in a fantastic job which I invested for when I got to pensionable age because I knew that I would, I would need looking after because I would need to pay for the carers to look after me should I reach that age. Coming off incapacity benefit, which is now being done away with, I meet all, obviously all the all the criteria uh, because I am so ill. But as far as I can see, I will get this new ESA allowance for 12 months, and then it will be means tested. The means testing will mean that I won't be eligible for it, which means I will get no benefits. So, Mr. Ian Duncan Smith, if you're listening, all I can see that at the end of that 12 months, I'll be better off dead. To me, you've, con you've condemned me to a death sentence. Well, I think you need to get some advice and help on that, John, because you definitely uh, will not be better off dead, and neither will the rest of us be better off if you're dead. Uh, I really do think you need to... I, I've had to advice, George. Th those are the facts. 12 well, I'm months... Not, I'm not disputing those, uh, those facts, but I, I can sense the depths of the depression that you're uh, currently feeling about it all, and that's what you need help for, because we, don't, we really don't want you going further down that road. But how job. can Ian Duncan Smith say that he's looking after looking after the sick. He's not looking after me. Well, I don't believe for one minute that he's looking after the sick, unlike the Sunday people. And I, how can I he don't say believe... that everyone can do some sort of job? No, uh, uh, I'm not sure he has said that, but clearly if he has, he's entirely wrong. There's no kind of job that you can do, and we are your brother, and therefore your keeper. That's the whole point of a civilized society. So, John, you need I, to... I, 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 need to, I need to save that money for, because a pension won't pay to the carers. That, uh, and everything is means-tested. Everything as far as caring in the home, caring the community, it's all means-tested. Who's, who's your MP, John? <sighs> um... You better find that out and make an appointment for them to come and see you. Tell them that I advised it and that you raised it on national radio. That's I mean, the uh, best advice I can give you, I'm afraid, uh, at this uh, moment in time.